Hi guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video as you can tell by the title I am going to take you through all of the steps of how we transformed our new family room in our new home this is the before picture this is the picture that was actually on the MLS listing when uh, we first saw the home online and this is exactly how it looked when we purchased we purchased in October of 2020 and we have been slowly making changes to make this space our own so I thought it would be cool to take Take you along the entire process um, from start to finish and then also we're going to do some decorating in the video as well so that you guys can see um, how we got to where we are today it's not a hundred percent done but I'm about 95 percent done and I'll ask you guys at the end for your opinions on just a few things that I'm thinking about doing um, later on to this space but as you can see, the walls were very, very neutral. The carpet was very neutral. It was in good condition. It was brand new carpet, but very neutral. Um, everything was just like, in my opinion, washed out. So I needed to bring some color and I needed to kind of make it my own. And so this is how we did it. Okay, so the first thing that we decided to do was paint the space. I told you guys before, the neutral walls were just too neutral for me. I needed to add a little bit of color. And I already knew the color palette or the color story that I wanted to go with. Because again, I was mixing in some furniture that I already had that was practically brand new from our previous home. And also, I was going to build upon that and add some new pieces. So I knew I wanted to do accents of the navies, the different color blues. And I also knew that I wanted my neutral color on this entire um, level of the house to be gray so I decided to paint the walls um, classic silver by bear I've been using that color for years to come in, in multiple houses my third house now um, that I've used that color it can be purchased at Home Depot and is by the bear brand um, and then I don't I think the um, don't quote me on this but I think the blue that we went with is called title um, by bear as well but don't quote me on that um, I wanted to tell you guys that this step could have been very expensive in fact I had multiple contractors come in and give me quotes for painting the space now as you can see this is a two-story room the ceilings are about 18 feet high and so obviously they're gonna you know that's an upcharge for that I believe the estimate that I got was around $2,500 to paint this room and then also the foyer area of the house as well well when we moved in as you know um, Ronnie was still on maternity leave or he took the second leg of his maternity leave when we moved in and since he was off he went ahead and tackled the project himself he purchased a gorilla ladder that extended all the way up to the ceiling and he conquered his fear of heights and just got it done and he saved us so much money he took his time we learned along the way but it came out so so good I'm so happy that we saved that money because we were able to put it into the actual professional renovations that we got if you aren't aware we did um, hire professional contractors to come in and rip out our entire kitchen and also do an accent wall in this space that I will show you um, in just a second if you have not seen that entire playlist I will link it above and also um, link it in the description box below Okay guys, and so like I said, during the re kitchen remodel, we went ahead and I came up with the idea to add some dimension to this two-story wall. It was huge. As you can see, it does have the French doors that go into our home office, but I just thought the wall was too huge just to leave a plain solid gray. So I hired the contractors to come in and do a wood trim feature wall. And you guys, they had this wall up in one day and they painted it the next day and it adds so much dimension when people come over I compliment 
compliments 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 it's all I get on this wall and honestly I thought of this idea on a whim I wasn't sure if it was going to actually look right and I just went with my gut and here we are it looks amazing and as you can tell we did order um, two of the um, navy couches this is our the same couches that I had before but we ordered two new ones while they were on sale from uh, value city furniture And so the next thing we did was get rid of that carpet. It, like I said, it was brand new in great condition, but I wanted the entire first level of the house to have continuous flooring. So we opted to go with hardwood flooring. We purchased that from Floor and Decor and we had the contractors professionally install that. We also had them put these custom cutouts in the wall here in the family room that looks into our sunroom and our open kitchen area we removed a half wall as well just to add in some extra lighting sunlight and also to just make the home more custom i also added this beautiful rug from overstock you guys this is my second rug um exactly the same rug i just ordered it in a larger size to fit this space more to scale the space it is from overstock it is a safavea rug and it is beautiful the next thing i went ahead and did was added this metal bench now at first I had a tufted bench here but we do a lot of entertaining especially with small children and I didn't feel like cleaning the stains constantly so I saw this bench on um, overstock as well and I had to have it I wasn't sure if it was gonna work in the space but I actually love it and I love the fact that it is extra seating so during the holidays and everything we have the two sofas we also have you'll see um, in a little bit but we have two um, accent chairs and then we now have this bench and I absolutely love it it's actually comfortable people sit on it all the time and it's very very modern and here you see us hanging some wall art that I purchased from home goods this was beautiful I saw this months ago and I knew the blues and the silvers in this would definitely do this room justice I'm also going to add two wall sconces that I purchased from Z gallery they are the um, Aspar wall sconces they're really really popular i bought them in silver of course and i added some navy blue um, taper candles from the at home store Okay guys, and next is the wall that faces the two-story family room. It was just too plain for me after we painted it gray. I needed to do something to add some dimension and add some drama, a pop of wow to the space. So I decided to go ahead and stencil the wall with metallic craft paint. Um, I purchased this stencil from CuttingEdgeStencils.com and I went to work. I have a whole video on this, so I'll link it up above and also in the description box if you're interested. But this is how that wall turned out. I had some family photos blown up and it turned to black and white and I absolutely love them. And so in this next clip you see Ronnie up on his ladder hanging the first curtain panel for me. I did order one panel as a sample just to make sure I like the color, the quality, the style and everything. These are I believe 226 or 228 inches. I ordered them from Etsy. They also sold from the same seller on Amazon. Um, but I had him put this up and I lived with it and looked at it for at least two months before I ordered the other three panels. So you will see only one panel um, for a little bit until you see later on that I hired a contractor to come in and install the other three but that is why because I ordered this one first as a sample they were $99 each and then once I approved of what I got then I went ahead and I placed the order next you see um, this four door mirrored buffet cabinet that I purchased from Wayfair you guys for an amazing steal I believe I paid $379 for it. Amazing, amazing steal. Um, I'll have it linked below. And here I am just decorating. Now, I am really proud of this because I did not purchase any of these um, decorative items. I used what I had from my prior home, things that I had never used that were still new in the box. I took them out and I made it work with what I had. And I absolutely love it. I think less is more in this case. And also, I do have a little one. And so I didn't want to clutter the space with too much um, decor items, but this came out really, really nice and I love this area of the room.
And so here is the view at the other side of the room where the cutouts are. These are the two accent chairs. I purchased these a couple of years ago when they were on sale from lampsplus.com, but I have seen them in Home Goods and quite a other um, few retailers online. When I purchased them, I got them for $300 each, which was a good deal. And then the two accent tables in the center were from um, the HomeSense store. And then also I purchased um, the garden stool over there on the right hand side. I purchased that from Home Goods years ago as well. So again, using what I have. Next, you will see this hideous ceiling fan that was here. I just knew that I had to change out the ceiling fan and choose a light fixture that made a statement. And lucky for me, I had sponsored a sponsorship um, with the lighting company and I was able to choose this beautiful beautiful light and here is a clip of the contractor putting it in the electrician came and installed it for me and here's how it turned out it looks amazing and it definitely changed and transformed the space from that old ceiling fan Next, the space needed some greenery, but I am not good at keeping plants alive. I do not have a green thumb. I am not a plant mom. So I head it on over to Amazon and I purchased this faux birds of paradise tree. This is the seven foot and it was amazing. I purchased it on um, Amazon Prime Day and it was on sale. And then I purchased the planter from Wayfair when it was also on sale and this is plastic guys it's amazing I love it and I think it adds a lot of um, just life and dimension to that corner and so guys next it was time to call in the pros and to hang the rest of the curtain panels these are the rods that I went with they are from Amazon and I just purchased the crystal finials from Bed Bath & Beyond online they were only $20 um, per pair of finials and I thought that was a good deal I believe the um, curtain rods were like 17 or $18 um, for, per, for, per two and so I had to order two packs these are the rest of the curtain panels I went ahead and ordered them and they came in record time I am so happy with them the quality is amazing the color was spot on um, I did order sample um, swatches and then I ordered one the one that you see there on the left and I lived with it for a few weeks and then I went ahead and placed my order but here is the contractor going ahead and um, installing the remaining three panels for me And after the curtains were hung, I went ahead and finally unboxed my wall disc that I ordered from Overstock months ago. I had this idea to hang these above the um, TV in the space, the empty space that was above the TV months ago before I purchased the curtains, before I did the accent wall in here. And I'm so glad that it turned out so beautiful and it's definitely a statement. Um, I purchased these from Overstock months ago. I believe they were like $350 per set of three. So I purchased two sets of three and I only used one of the largest size. These things came and they were huge, but such good quality. And so here, here is the contractor installing those for me as well. And guys, I am going to be quiet now and let you just see how the room has turned out so far. Um, I'll come back in at the end and ask your opinion about a couple things and just point out a few more things to you. But again, just to, you know, jog your memory, this is the before. This is what we started with. Essentially, it was a blank canvas, beautiful room, two stories, and here is where we are now.
Just want your time. And guys, as you can see, I did go ahead and add a coffee table. This coffee table is the Z Gallery Timber coffee table. It does coordinate with the Z Gallery Timber dining table that I have in my sunroom. Both of these pieces were purchased from Facebook Marketplace for a fraction of the cost of them from the original retailers. But I went ahead and I put this in this space. I actually love it. It's low profile. I really, really um, think that it fits this space. And then everything on the table is just temporary. I'm not really sure if this is how it's going to stay or not. But the round tray with the navy um, bottom is from Home Goods, and um, the uh, vases that you see there, and also the taper candle head holders are from Z Gallery. I do have some Z Gallery magazines there. I'm waiting to find the perfect coffee table book. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them down below. The glasses are from TJ Maxx, and the two uh, blue vases are also from um, Z Gallery of course.
And guys, here's where I need your help. Please go in the comment section and let me know what you would do with this empty space. Now, this empty space is the space on the wall that is above the two high back um, accent chairs. And also there is a sofa as well. This um, wall is also shared with the open kitchen and the sunroom, as you can kind of see there below. But I think I have some ideas of what I want to do um, as far as what I want to decorate on this wall and how I want it to look but let me know your suggestions which would you do with it would you leave it blank would you put something on it thanks so much for watching guys I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys like how it turned out let me know in the comment section what you think be sure to subscribe if you like this type of content leave me a comment down below don't forget to hit the like button and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an upload and I'll see you guys in the next one bye